kids have come here and has got the city going crazy. Um, first with his play and his leadership of the Clippers, you're going to see one more statue. After Kobe, I think we got one more guy we get ready, and that's Chris Paul. Wow, that's a, a big endorsement from Magic. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar just got a statue. Now he's saying after Kobe, it will be CP3. Stephen A., I'll start with you first. Is Magic right? You know what? <laughs> this is a hard one. Okay. Because let me tell you something. When I look at Chris Paul, he's a great point guard. He has the potential to be one of the greatest point guards out there. We know that he's resurrected the Clippers franchise. There are other games where he could play better, which he would be the first to admit. I get all of that. But I I'm sitting there, Skip. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of wondering, will a Staples Center have any room for any more damn statues? <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, how many are you going to have? You got Jerry West. You got, you got Shaq. You got, you, you got Kareem. You got Magic. You got Oscar De La Hoya out there, Okay. You know Kobe's going to get one. I I'm just wondering if you're going to have any more room for it, for crying out loud. But I guess I'm looking along the lines of Chris Paul is a big-time player, but he's got a lot more to prove. A and I love him. You know how I feel about him as a point guard and as a person. But he's got to get those rings. Magic's got five. Kareem's got six. Kobe's got five. Shaq's got four, three with the Lakers. Jerry West got one. You got to get that. And then maybe we can have that discussion. Chris Paul is great. Give him max dollars. He's the face of the leader of that franchise. But we're talking about statues. We're talking about deifying Chris Paul. Really? He ain't got <laughs> Let's, let's, let's pause on that is all I'm trying to say. Did you say pause? I mean, I got, I, I, I just, it's just pause. I mean, I got love for him. Boy can play. He's big time. But we talking statue now? Uh -uh. So look, man, you know, there's a love affair going on in L.A. I get all that, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, first of all, remember, they have to save room outside Staples for the Stephen A. Smith statue because we uh -huh, know uh -huh. the games do not count Unless until there. Stephen A. shows up. Mm -hmm. That They don't even need to play well, those games until Stephen A. is in that <laughs> house. So Stephen A. I will say definitely, you, you deserve a statue I, outside of Staples. It's your I, house. I, I, will, I, will, I will say this. I do deserve consideration, but more so in New York and South Beach than I, L.A. I disagree L.A. would be that. third on the list. That, I, I only LA hear from my friends in L.A., Stephen A. was here. It, it's uh, it's unbelievable. He made uh -huh. it, it, it's uh -huh. like all those guys on the front row. Yeah. Jack and those Who cares like about Jack? Okay, Steve now back to the question. <laughs> to me, you have to win at least one ring as a basketball player to get a statue outside Staples. So the question is, you're going to win that ring with whom? With the Clippers? Mm -hmm. Really? I I don't know. I. I could be wrong. I don't see that one, Stephen A. So, is there a method to Magic's madness here? And I put quotes around that. Yeah. Is it possible that Magic somehow expects Chris Paul to wind up with the real home team at Staples? His Lakers, Magic Lakers. Is that possible? Again, Magic now aligned with the Dodgers, as we know, in ownership. But they're still Magic's Lakers. I don't care how you slice it. So, is it possible Magic is dropping a hint He's casting a line in the water well, to well, Chris well, Paul well, to pull him well, across what he's doing is, to the other locker room? Well, what he's doing is he's just expressing his wishful thoughts. The reality is it ain't going to happen for two reasons. The Lakers don't have the cap space. They'd have to get you. They'd have, they'd have to amnesty Kobe. They'd have to trade Gasol. They'd have to not sign the white. I mean, the stuff you got to do to, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's no, highly unlikely. No, it's not way, impossible. Yeah. By the way. The Clippers, in terms of Donald Stillman, they would never trade any of their players from for, to the Lakers. That would not happen. Okay. So we're back to these Clippers. Can you see Chris Paul winning one championship with the Clippers as they're comprised? And, again, they got swept by the Spurs last year, but they added some key pieces, bench pieces. Matt Barnes, obviously Jamal Crawford, huge additions off the bench, and they have played huge roles in making that team 
a, a level higher than it was last year, a level better. And so, so you tell me, with Blake and DeAndre, again, I, I'm not trusting it, but you tell me, can two they, things, can they win a championship? And, 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 I, I don't believe they could do it this year, but I would tell you this. If Blake Griffin develops a shot, say, similar to Kevin Durant in terms of perimeter shooting, oh. and DeAndre Jordan, well, yeah. and DeAndre Jordan <laughs> yeah. hits free. And if you no, jump over the moon. Answer your question. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. I'm just saying, it's well, not well, that hard on. to develop a jump shot, Skip. Skip, it's not that hard to develop some semblance of a jump shot. Okay. If and he Blake has gotten Griffin, better. And, he, and, and by the way, that. he hit some of them now. He, he hit some of them now. Sometimes, if yeah. Blake Griffin developed a better jump shot, and DeAndre Jordan hits free throws, they could win the world championship. Okay, but they could win the world championship. I'm not trusting That's that the makeup of those two. I, I'm sorry. Chris Paul can lead them only so far. And, and I don't think as constituted, this team is a championship team. Not for the next five years. I'm sorry. I don't see it. But maybe Magic sees something we don't. Because you, you would have to win a ring to get that statue. I get because Jerry West, as you said, did win a ring. And plus, he's a legendary player beyond what Chris Paul has been so far. Chris Paul has a long way to go. Got to win something. And right. I believe in Chris Paul. If anybody can do it, he can do it. Yeah. But don't talk to me about statue when you don't have any rank. Well, right. Stephen A., just for the Laker Nation, once again, you see no no, no situation in which Chris, Ca Chris Paul could be a Laker. I do not see that. Well, maybe Magic does. Coming up next.